Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Isler's Chronicle. Uh, Chronicles of Isler. I can use English. Fuck. It's been a long week. Sorry. <laughs> oh boy, this is a good start. Uh, we're going to picking up after the downtime that the party has been able to enjoy. The about a week since they have returned from the Feywild. Well, yeah, been about a week since they returned from the Feywild. About a few months since they, you know, left. But you know, it is what it is. Time is a weird soup. We're gonna pick up with Rodan. Because you are in the jungle tower currently. Yes. Uh, you're in one of the guest rooms. Um, it's just... kind of Spartan. It's not like designed for it, you get the sense they don't get guests necessarily. But they're just in case they do. Um, but as you're getting, like, you're starting to head bent toward the, the way back to your, your home, or your guild home, uh, I don't remember her name now, god damn, I can't remember her name, uh, this is what happens when you add, like, really complex names. <laughs> Altora, uh, the Feywild variant, uh, part of Forest, basically. She stops you. Uh, oh, I f figured you might want to know. Uh, a thing that is appears and disappears in this jungle should be a Hearing soon for a very limited time. Do you, do you have an idea of where? Mm hmm. And she, she holds out a, a not a map, but it's more like just a crude. Think of, think of it like shaped like a compass, but it's not a like an actual compass. You, you can just it doesn't have like the needle and anything like that. It's like one solid hunk of um, stone. Mm -hmm. uh, as you take it, you kind of feel general a general direction. If that makes sense. Okay. So it sort of like guides you in the direction. To it. Yeah, you get the sense it's not exact, but it pulls in its general area. This is as precise as we can make it. This is a place that's designed itself not to be found. Well, what is it exactly? Uh... Do you have any idea? Because Shar always calls called it a place forgotten, and I don't know what that means. And that's the only thing she seems to ever say about it. That's ominous. She shrugs. Is it, <laughs> is it really a good idea to look? Like, should it be left for God? Did she not say anything else? I think it, cause her didn't seem like it, if it's dangerous, she didn't seem worried about it. At least.
Oh, I'll I'd have to see if they're up for going on another random adventure to some unknown building or things. Uh, just, yeah. Uh, oh, if you don't want to go, or they don't want to go, they'll have to, just let them know that they'll have to wait another... She seems like kind of thinking, like, how long between times it's gathered. Anywhere from two to the three hundred years? That'll be long dead by then. Oh, good advice for my great great granddaughter. It'll be someone else's <laughs> problem. <laughs> I'll be sure to let them know about that. I'm sure they'll definitely get some of them interested in going. Nods. Science. That's what adventure is for. Exactly. I agree. Well, if you need us, well, uh, I'm going to stick around here for a little longer. Alright. And she just wanders off. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fate world. Time to continue ones. on my way back to the guild area. I think uh, because you guys usually end up meeting at around the same time, so you, at least that's what you guys have been doing in the past. To see if there's anything new going on, or... Or not. We'll just gather... Uh, we'll say that this is the point that the, you guys usually do meet up, if that makes sense? Just for ease? And do you guys meet up in the uh, the study library, library again, or? Sure. Sounds good. That seems to be where we usually do. Makes sense. Definitely going to be a new situation for Rodan coming up from the stairs inside. <laughs> yeah. Out of the door. <laughs> Suddenly, Rodan comes from downstairs as opposed to upstairs. <laughs> or from the front door. I'm probably also a little late seeing as I got woken up in mid sleep. Yeah. So imagine, and you were stopped, to talk, so I imagine everyone else is there kind of first, and then you see Ron come from upstairs or from downstairs. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Morning. Well, if y'all been, how was your week, guys' weekend slash week of downtime? Productive. <clears throat> they uh, trash looks up from like you know shoving, shoveling whatever she's eating into her mouth because you know she just. Is eating garbage. Ah, like I, I spent all week in like a library, like looking at books. Fun. By choice? Question. Well, yeah, we gotta figure out how to take care of Chuckles. Oh yeah, fair. Is this room made out of a lot of wood? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sheena's staring at the wall. Gina, are you okay? Gina, you okay? She's like rubbing her hand up against the wood grain, very entranced. I look at Rhoda and I go like, is she talking to your girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is Deadwood. There's a difference. I don't know. Oh, this wait. room is so sad. So it kind of looks a bit like Ponce. Once living things. I suppose. They are now yeah. repositories of knowledge. Also dead things. Saw you came up from downstairs. How is the jungle? Uh, I, don't know. I rolled a die to be fair for insight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she. I, I didn't exactly meet her. Mm. My week was. My, my. Yes, yesterday was really weird. Yesterday night. I I got woken up by some one thing trying to take the uh uh black dagger that we got from that I picked up from the weird cultist guys. Wait, that's a pretty big thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is why I'm mentioning it right now. I'm assuming you didn't see it. No, I I even tried to talk with the jungle if they know anything, but I wasn't getting anything back. Like, the connection was not there. It was really weird. So I thought the best, safest place to be would be in the tower. Nothing can steal from me if I'm in a pretty well guarded area. That's fair. That, that seems reasonable. And there wasn't anything wrong with the life around you. There was just no voice being heard. Yes. Right. That is odd. It was very weird. And they didn't have any insight as to what, why this connection would be lost? I haven't had the chance to really talk with, with her yet. Mm. Literally got up not that long ago. On that note, apparently something that own, that a only rarely appears in the jungle will be appearing soon and we'll have a, lim a limited chance to go find it and then it won't be around for another 3,000 or so years 3,000 damn that's a long time I'm up for it, if you want to go check it out. Any chance we're going to, like, you know, disappear for 3,000 years, too? Like, how long does it stick around? Did you get any? Uh, I didn't get the exact information, but it sh should be around for a bit. Like, if we were to go today it we shouldn't have any issues uh, Marie gave me a, a compass to find it Maria may be right this occurrence could be the reason why your connection was lost I can always try today to talk through plants 
test that theory, I guess. It'd be too difficult. Anyone else had anything eventful happen during their week? Not that I knew of. I met a new dead friend. The tester in... and on the metal did not come back with anything useful. Shorty, when you no, Shino, when you say met a new dead friend do you mean met a new friend and killed it or met a friend that is not dead but dead something that has always existed but is older than time so just an old friend an old now friend but very powerful dead. spirit Are you spirits? Are spirits death by definition? Death is just the passing from the material to the spirit world. Fair enough. You will meet them soon. Do I? Oh, okay. <laughs> As in, I will. I don't think I want to go on this trip now, guys. I think I'm going to stay home. As in, I will meet them in person soon and like talk to them, or just because I'm a human and die the quickest of all of us? Like, what do you mean? She know, she know literally just walks by and smiles and kind of shrugs and goes out the door. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to we'll stay here and read more books. I think that's a better idea than <laughs> we'll especially if she knows hitting that I'm going to be dead first. soon. Who we do first? I mean, everyone, everyone died eventually. Yeah, but I prefer um, it to not be like tomorrow. Yeah, I, I prefer to die when I'm old. Yeah. Know? Preferably you guys old, but I don't all get there. <laughs> so just me guy old is good enough. Honestly, I don't even know how old I can get. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I like I possibly live 22. for like five years in like uh in like the real world, but I don't know if awakening like makes me live longer or not. That is an interesting question. Perhaps we should run some tests on you, my little friend. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm good. I'll find that. Don't worry about it. Uh I'll let you know if I drop dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast Fade Death right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to haunt us. Do you really want to do that with the uh, little uh, our friend here? No, because she'll fucking dissect me. No way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no plans to dissect a friend. What if they're dead? Considering there are ways to bring back dead friends, it is important not to dissect them. Fair enough. That's, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's uh, actually very deserving. Uh, that's pretty sure I will be dissected. Can you guys world. just burn me just in case? You know, just just cremate me. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh -huh. Rune, this thing sounds interesting, and it's either me or it's like very, very, very far the sanity is gonna go there. So... I'll, I'll, I have to at least check it out to make sure it will be safe. Unless we don't want to go. I'm down. I mean, I, I, I'm, I guess I'm game, you know. Uh, that or that or researching spells again. I could use a break, I guess. You can find a book with you. Um, you know how heavy those things are? I can carry yeah. it for you.
Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you all start heading out? I mean, I guess so. Yeah, uh, if we're good to go. Where are yeah. we going? To the mystery spot in the Where's... jungle? I have yeah. the compass pulled of me, I guess. Yeah, his girlfriend knows the sweet spot to hang out, so we're gonna check it out, you know. Yeah, are you sure we were supposed to come and this isn't like a date? Yeah, that's you know, one of those question. like one of those like uh what is it, scavenger hunt dates where you have to like find your way there. <laughs> we're gonna get there, it's gonna be awkward. I'm Thank sure. You. Perception checks from everyone. Oh. Oh, perception checks for everyone. Guys, oh, oh god, I have stuff in my way. Out of the um, Rouge will make Oh, it yeah, that's me. right. Come here, real dice. <laughs> yeah, uh, decent. Yeah, addition yeah, to five. perception. Oh, I just damn. gotta put all these dice out of here. Uh, oh, that's not that good. Is it? Uh, Don't worry, which one do I want to roll? I want to roll the little peeny weeny dice. Uh, 13 plus 5. Does this uh, perception rely on sight, DM? Uh, it does. I don't know if you're, if Rouge would notice it. Based on what it is. Or at least register it as something to notice. Okay. If that makes sense. I'll, I'll roll for a chance for you. Um... If it's sneaking up on me to kill me, it's a 29, uh, but... No, 28. Roll 20 slow today. Oh, because I'm not using the right browser. <laughs> yeah, I had to switch to Chrome today because my Firefox was just being super chunky. Well, that's weird, because I'm switching to Firefox right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like, I couldn't even move the map on Firefox, but it's fine on Chrome, so I don't know what's up with my Firefox today. I don't know if it needs, has it has an update that it needs to do, or... It's fucking Adobe running in the background. No, it's not. Uh, where's my character sheet? There it is. Damn, it's taking a while. I'll just roll a physical dice. Where's my physical dice? Fair enough. Uh, that's a natural 19 plus... What's my bonus? What is my bonus? Mm. Uh, that's a 22. Yeah. Um, none of you notice anything. Yikes! That's a high DSC. <laughs> oh, it works. <laughs> In your ear, Shanti, as you walk down the stairs. Don't be worried. In a very creepy voice. Guys. That sounds like you should be more worried. Guys, did any of you anger a spirit? I feel like I'm being haunted right now. I have never known spirits to haunt me in spite of my experiments. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Shino comes out of the shadows just chuckling and just gives you a kiss on the cheek and walks out the door. I do not bother me. Let's Go guys! Oh, I want to. I want to get out of here. Let's just go. <laughs> I do need to buy something real quick before we fully go on the adventure. Sure. Uh, guess... Don't forget to bring a bunch of rations, guys. Because we're going into the jungle and we need food. How? Where's that thing? What channel is that in? Notepad. Right. I believe so. Otherwise, I also have it here. Thanks to the kitchen, we have gourmet rations, don't we? Uh, you can, if you take time, you can make gourmet rations. At uh, reduced price, I believe it is. Kitchen. 
Do we uh, have time right. to, uh... I mean... How how bad is this room? He said if we don't go with that, we have to wait, like, 3,000 years, but, like, do we have to go right now? Can, do we have, like, a week? And also, so if you don't take the, the time, it is st still only, like, 36 gold to get the gourmet rations. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, let's just pay the money. Uh, that's six a piece, right? Yeah. Everybody just mark yep. off six gold and let's just do it. All right. All right. Is there? Are you bringing any of the the two that you have in your your hireling list right now? Uh, <sighs> who we got? Cecilia or Lex is what you currently have. I think Cecilia would like going there because this seems like something nerdy. After what we've been for some through, reason I think she yeah. Likes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was, maybe she wants a break. Yeah, <laughs> maybe yeah. she wants an extended break. I I feel like we owe it owe her a break at least. We could bring Lux. Do we want to bring Lux? I feel, I feel like he's the the guard here. I mean, he's not the guard guard, but you know. I mean, we can just go solo if you want. Yeah. I mean, we don't have or, to bring anybody. And also, you can, if you want, switch out Cecilia and leave her as m more of an NPC. You can put out that space if you want. If you, if there was another one that you wanted to to switch out. Let's bring the the the, the owl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's Elfine too. I forgot about that. But she seemed very much busy with stuff in town. I don't think she'll want to leave. We can just go. I think us is just fine. Let's go on a solo adventure. It's been a while. So yeah, I'm going to buy a dagger. Okay. And easy enough. some like similar looking cloth to the Cloth I wrapped around the black dagger. Uh, I'll say easy enough to find a cloth, just like to find like some scrap cloth that's similar. Yeah. So I'm not gonna really charge for that because that's gonna be not worth charging. Uh, so just mark off the the price for a dagger. Which is something I don't. <laughs> uh. Uh, no, that's yes. Uh, leave is two gold. Two gold. And I'm pretty much going to wrap the cloth around the dagger and put it in my bag, exactly where the black dagger used to be. Ah, I Fair. see what you're doing. Fair enough. There it is. If something wants to steal from me, it's gotta look like a fool first. Mm hmm. So you guys pick up rations. Uh, you pick up a dagger. Uh, is there anything else you guys wish to do before leaving? I'm good. You can think of anything. I'm just gonna calculate your because right now you're that got the call got the expedition tent. So, who wants me to roll me a d100? In fact, roll it twice and let me know I'll do it. and we'll pick a lower one. Lyra, I need to be able to see my screen. Nah. I was say, I haven't done one in a while, but go ahead. So, 41 plus your number here. Yeah, I rolled so it twice, so, yeah. 41 64. and 94. 
All right. You, you guys are traveling along in the you start traveling along in the jungle. Uh it's gonna bring us to this map. Just to represent the So is there anything you guys wish to do while you're traveling the jungle? It's gonna be a good distance. Urban. Yeah, searching for some of the more useful components. Survival. I'll keep an eye out for any critters. <clears throat> if it is a thing messing up with the big buff plants. <laughs> uh, 19 survival. Uh, is there any particular plants you're looking for? Or just... Um. Uh. Did we get? Well, I got a lot of yellow flowers last time, so mm -hmm. I'll say. Um. Let's say Sheena's looking for more. Um. Uh, new things. Uh, possibly. Um, let's look for some more mushrooms of different types and stuff. Let's try that. Right. Uh, you find... Okay. Uh, because you're more focused on, like, on, on the fungal aspect. Mm -hmm. Uh, you find a, a, a patch, and it's, you find it, like, probably during one of your nights, because... You notice the glow. They're a little bit, they have a little bit of a bioluminescence to them. Uh, it grows in, like on the side of a tree, like like a side, on the side of a tree where it comes out and then it kind of rotates up, so that it's kind of like the stem is like a, like a like a L or a J shape, but sideways, so the mm -hmm. cap is right side up. And it has this kind of like jellyfish look to it. Uh, it is referred to. I'll type it in chat. Structural fungus. You find five. Uh, can I do some sort of a nature check to see if they're poisonous? Uh, yep, go ahead. And I guess what extent of poisonous? Do I have an advantage on this? Um, hold on. I don't think I have for nature checks in my territory. Let me just think here. Um, int or wisdom check related to it. That's more like traveling. Would it apply to this or no? Uh, it would because you're like, this is like foraging effectively in the forest jungle. Okay. It's not that bad. Uh, so, mm, do you want survival or nature? Na nature. Uh, we'll do survival. Okay. Do. Uh, twenty-one. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's there's no. These are not technically poisonous. They're not really edible per se. Uh, they don't really. They're not poisonous because they don't. You, if you eat it, you, it's not going to kill you. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to. You're not going to feel sick. But it has no nutrition to it. It's kind of. It's an odd, odd plant because it doesn't provide anything or take anything. It just kind of exists. Yeah, for science, she'll eat one. So she has four now. You kind of eat one that's best description is like eating a plastic bag full of air. <laughs> that like as soon as you 
bite into it, it pops, and then the air is let out. It's got no flavor or nothing to it. Hmm. She'll give them over to field medic in the morning after her watch, and just uh, see what she can do with it. Oh, thank you. Uh, and- what kind of mushrooms are these? Spectral fungus. Spectral fungus. Uh, and the Four. Were... How many? Uh, Four. Uh, as of this moment, you you don't notice any 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 animals you don't ha- you don't have a-, a lot of access to right now. Like you 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 notice animals all around you. Quentin or Rouge does. Mm-hmm. But they're ones you you Fair enough. you have an abundance, if that makes sense. Cheaper, okay. Because you're still still close, but that might change as you get deeper. Okay. Uh, and you wanted to frat, test a theory, Rick? Yeah, the the theory. Uh... Mario said about um, like just testing to see if I can, if I speak to plants works. Okay. Because it didn't last night. Is there anything particular you say, or are you just I... saying? Does can you hear me? <laughs> it's just. Finally working again? <laughs> yes. I can hear you. Oh, good. For some reason, last night it... I didn't get anything back. You vanished from sight for, la- for a moment last night. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> you vanish from sight. Oh, that's not a, that's not good. But if oh, any idea what could possibly make me vanish from sight? Strong enough concealment, good. Would that be something that would rival me? As my entity is strong and as old as I. Oh, does that means that whatever trying to steal the dagger has that much power? Seems so. Uh, I don't like this. Well, at least it's working again. Let's just hope it doesn't happen again. Hopefully not. Not that I will be able to know, of course. I mean, you'll notice me, Benny. You'll notice all of us, Benny. I think at that point it might be too late. True. Jungle always watches me sleep. The jungle watches all sleep. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to talk, or is that was the extent of it? I don't want to pass ex- on if you're not done. Yeah, the extent of it for now. All right. Um. 
So you guys, you guys move forward. Uh, and you're getting far deeper in the jungle than you have gone before. At this point, if you guys want to make another repeat of checks for looking for things, you may. Yeah. Sure. Are deep in there now. The tower is in different locations, wherever it wants to be. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll start with... We'll start with the 15 survival. You've no, you noticed a few... Um, a few patches of 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 uh, those mushrooms that you used to make that kind of like that 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 poison. I'll say. Ooh, uh, let's see which one was that. Starshroom. Uh. Ah, so it is starshroom. All right. Uh, you find six. Woo! Nice. I, roll, I rolled a six. Uh, a pretty decent patch. Uh, you know, on a 21, you find... Let's see. Four, uh... For more of those of the red flowers, but on top of that, you find kind of growing in one of the branches. Well, at first looks just like a um, a cocoon, like a like a large like butterfly cocoon. But you realize it's not attached to the branches. It's just kind of like folding like a seed pod, if that makes sense. It's kind of this gray uh, texture to it. But imagine it's easy enough to collect. Uh, because even Rouge could, could get it, even though it's bigger than Rouge, because it is nearly weightless. Uh, I'll write down the name of this thing for you. It is called... Make sure I get the button spelling correctly. A ley line pod. Due to its nature to follow like the magical the the natural magical kind of paths near. And to give you a general size, uh, it's about maybe hmm, about like the size of, uh, size of about a one and a half like, of the American football. Just, just that's how like long it is, basically. And it's kind of like a shape of like. Not necessarily a peanut, but like a, like more like a, more like a walnut, but longer. And it's got like a, on top of it sticking out, a stem that has, 
Uh, you know when d- dandelions they turn that that those seed pods out. Mm-hmm. That's what it looks like on the top. It's got that kind of that white fuzz. My instinct is just the blow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so is the husk, like, pretty thick on this? Yeah, you you can tell it's kind of... Not that it's necessarily hollow on the inside, but it's, like, porous, if that makes sense. Because you, you can kind of hear, you can tap on it and kind of get that sensation of... It's hollow, but not entirely hollow. Like, it's... And so you, and you know it's not solid because of the weight is not there. When she shakes it, does she feel like loose objects inside? Uh, you gotta shake it, and you hear something shifting inside. You, you're not entirely sure what it is. It doesn't sound solid. Yeah, this is not an alone project. This is a project with a friend. Uh, she'll bring it. She'll um, she'll bring it to the group, I guess, whenever they're at camp or whatever. And I think she'll probably bring field medic and probably rodent over as well, given it's plant like. Uh, what does this I found. Sound? I'm not sure, but I'm going to open it up, and I just, I don't want to do this alone. <laughs> that is quite important, yes. And she'll take out her um, bone dagger, and she'll just, like, gently just, like, slice just a little bit, just to try to look at what's in the inside. Are you, are you like, setting it, like, horizontal and, like, cutting into the side? Uh, I was imagining like laying it down flat. I'm imagining kind of like a big gray papaya. That's what I'm imagining in my okay, head. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a um, sideways flat. So I yeah. Okay. And so just like right along the top, just like opening up a seam. She'll just like try to just just a little bit, just to kind of wedge and then pry to see what's inside. Uh, you see, well, the best way I can describe it is like. Um, you know, like the spiderweb pattern, where it's got, where there's a lot of like nooks and crannies. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like like it's that in its entirety inside, made of the same material. Like it's like it was. If it was full, it's been eaten away to the point where it's only like strands. But you gather, it's more likely designed that way to keep itself lightweight to float. But you see a shimmer inside, like, just from the light glancing, glancing inwards. She'll reach her hand in, and she'll kind of just... She'll grab it, whatever it is. Uh, your hand touches, touches uh, what feels like some sort of liquid. Oh. Field medic, do you have a, um, a vial? Uh, I should. Uh, let's see. I'm try- trying to see if I have any actual vials. Is there? I have five flasks, so I think a okay. flask will do. Yeah. She'll pour whatever liquid is in the pod. She'll she'll pour it in. And as you pour it out, it is this silver, silvery blue kind of liquid that just kind of pours out with the same consistency you'd expect, like we'd expect from like mercury. And it just sits in the flask. Is there any residue on her hand because she touched it? Yeah. You, you oh. Can, there's just like that's like like you touch like if you touch like oil, you, you, there's that kind of like that like you know the, the color of the that on your finger. So she'll give it a sniff, and she'll give it a lick. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh gosh! You take two thousand poison damage. Uh, Romy, possibly. Romy one d one hundred. There we go. Uh, 
There's a difference between wisdom and intelligence. Wisdom is experiences, right? Let's do this. Uh, ni- 98. I mean, I would argue wisdom is also not licking random things in the forest because you know yeah but you won't you don't know you don't know if you don't know (laughs) true but (laughs) you i mean that's one way to find out she's not a smart character Uh, sorry i'm my my table has decided to freeze and crash So give me a moment as I reload it. I feel like I'm really channeling uh, fits in a jar in this campaign, just for the record. Just want to throw that out there. Just licking everything, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for science, licking. Oh, I hope we don't find any groans. All right. Uh, Taste their amber. Another D100. What is that? 70? 70. Okay. Well, quick! If you, if you die, you can bring your grung character here. Oh yeah, I could. Uh, ah, roll, roll, roll a d six and and we roll a six. Oh, no. oh no! Wait, Are you gonna wait! Blow repeat up? that. Repeat that. Roll d six. We roll a six. Three. Rodan. <laughs> ah, consequences for Rodan. Okay. Yeah. You, you feel something like off. Uh, but Chino and Field Medic were right there. Notice a turtle shell is now sprouted on top of Rodan's head. What? Wait, what? Well, oh, what? <laughs> Someone nearby sprouts a turtle shell atop their head. <laughs> uh, Field Medic immediately goes over to, to Rodan and starts poking at the turtle shell. Uh, don't, you, you, can you reach that high? <laughs> He's pretty tall. That's a good point. So I po- I'm, I'm poking. I'm using uh, my stick to poke him. Uh, I have a quarter well, staff. No, I, I, I will not be poked. <laughs> I, I give it a whack. Like, does that help? Do you think? Le- does this hurt? No, no, I won't. Yeah. I don't appreciate being poked. <laughs> oh. But do have a new a... growth up there. It looks like a turtle shell. That is a fabulous hat. I'll just put my hand on my head. You feel a turtle shell on top of your head? <gasps> is there a turtle inside? I guess, I guess I'll, like, try and take it off. <laughs> you lift it up. It's only, only the top half of a turtle shell, but it is... Oh. <laughs> it's not attached to it, it's just suddenly there. <laughs> well, that's weird. Ah, good. Not the, not, not the good hat at all. A new hat. It may so actually good. make a good mortar for making uh, potions and stuff and grinding things. The inside. Can you oh, pluck yeah. it off his head? Yeah, he I took guess. it off. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not attached. Uh, to give you a general idea of what this liquid does, uh, it basically, in and itself is already a potion. Uh, it has 
10,000 random magical effects. Oh, wow. I don't even know what they all are. <laughs> oh, can I use that Jesus. for a wild magic sorcerer? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I always thought uh, that the wild magic sorcerer table is kind of lame. Like, uh, it should be more wild. Or if it's if it's the one I'm thinking of, that I used one for a wild magic sorcerer in a campaign that uh, like had like goofy stuff like water in like any water within X number of feet is like purified. It was like really like like it's like uh, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, this uh, it's a site online that it's called Mojo Bob. I could I could use a link to that. I think uh, so the one of the campaigns I follow online uh, used a table like that for random effects from when they're being touched by these things called lightning squids, and it caused some really interesting things to happen. <laughs> it was hilarious. So yeah, um, I'll say with the model liquid that is gathered, uh, you have enough for uh, three uses. Is what you find. Very interesting. And it does not say that the turtle shell advantages, so you just have a turtle oh. shell now. <laughs> oh, oh dear, <laughs> I've started reading <laughs> reading some of these magical effects. 1D100 bees swarm ha harmlessly around the caster for several weeks. <laughs> weeks! <laughs> weeks! <laughs> weeks! Uh, uh. Target's weapon is replaced by a vastly inferior replica. <laughs> oh. yeah, I'm never touching this thing ever. <laughs> Target's weapon is sheathed in a soft wool tube. <laughs> I have no idea what all of these are because there's so many. <laughs> oh. Target is stricken from any documents that mention him by name. That that could be useful. <laughs> That's yeah. I guess. Target is stricken mute while horses are nearby. <laughs> what? <laughs> horse, horse. That's funny. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And Sheena will uh, put that in her pack. A large hay-packed wooden crate marked "fragile" appears appears nearby. It better have a leg lamp in it. Yeah. <laughs> Fragile. That's French. Uh, Are there any more of those plants in the area, or whatever that was exactly? I just haven't written this plant pod. Um. I think as you guys are now know to, to look for them, go ahead and, and anyone who wants to look for those, go ahead and just make me. Survival or perception. Both of those will work. <laughs> Chaotic penis. <laughs> I'll have a look. Why not? Oh, yeah. Shino finds some. Uh, <laughs> what, what was the roll? A survival or perception, did you say? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter. So that is 21. 21? Uh, between the two of you, you find another four more. Which, between the two of them, I gotta roll another thing. Give me a second. Because they have a random amount of food in them. Wow, I rolled. By the way, it's a, it's a D4 worth of potions in them. I rolled a 4 and a 2, so it's number 6 potions. Of these random ass fucking effects. Could be helpful, could be not. But turn your fingers into stone. 
do a ton of things. Like, I'm reading just, like, some random ones. They're ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. Um, how many uses do you want to keep her? Cause, or do we want Shino to have all of them or we want to distribute? I just don't want to write down stuff that's not mine. I already have three, so whoever wants some. Shana will offer up whatever. Uh, I mean, I have one. Just, just, you never know. <laughs> okay, Shana will give five to uh, Field Medic since Field Medic distributes potions. I That's don't right. want any of them. After I hear <laughs> what happens to my weapon, fuck but, no. <laughs> but you don't, you don't want to target dr drones for one d six rounds, but it's fine afterwards. Oh. Is there any good ones in there? Uh, yeah, actually. I mean, the turtle shell one is pretty useful. Come on now. My mistake, my mistake. <laughs> and they don't always just affect you, Eva. No, no, it doesn't. Some are that's... literally just like, someone nearby, but something. <laughs> someone nearby sprouts... What was that? Oh, I scrolled too far from it. Uh, field, field Medic is going to immediately use one of the potions. <laughs> just oh to see God, what happens. Why? Here we uh, go! I no. would like, no. I would like Can, okay. If anything happens to me, you're getting stabbed. Before anything happens, I would like to predict <laughs> that one of the uh, things from the elemental, from the metal is it doesn't get affected by magic. <laughs> go ahead and roll 2d100s. No, no, no. Oh, goodness. My lord. 15. And then that means... Caster refuses to speak to anyone while their spellbook is open. <laughs> I have a spellbook. Yep. They're now... Listening to my notebook. I kind of already... <laughs> yeah, really I don't done. notice it now. Wait, are these permanent effects? Question mark? <laughs> uh, I, I, I think for some ones like that, we're just going to do it until like. Uh, I don't want to do. I don't want to make them permanent, like those permanent, because a lot of them are real bad. A week. <laughs> uh, maybe. Like maybe a D20 doing... worth a day. Days or something? Yeah. I don't know. Or a D10 we'll worth of days? A, a D10 worth of days. So we'll, I'll roll. So after jotting uh, down a few notes in my book, Field Medic like, puts their book away and says, That motion didn't seem to do anything, unfortunately. I do not see anything odd that's going on, and nothing seems to be different. Uh, it'll last for two days. <laughs> Maybe sometimes it does nothing. Caster starts billing his allies for each spell he casts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Just be like, I'm a wizard for hire. I just got mm. a firebolt. Yeah, we gotta pay me. <laughs> One copper for a mm. hand trip. <laughs> That's funny. Uh... I would say the next day. Eleven eighty two was hilarious. Um, Eleven eighty. <laughs> A cloak full of eagles. What? Uh, Eleven. <laughs> so uh I would say make a perception check, but you don't need to make a perception check. 
once you're within range of this, because it is a large thing. You see uh, a large walled off section in this forest, this jungle, with a single double door gate kind of in the front. The walls themselves are maybe 20 feet tall. Well, I think that's what we're looking for. Should we go around to look at the exterior or just go through the front door? Did I not find any creatures? We could send uh, Rouge or Batty around too. Okay. They'll, they'll go a little faster. Did you roll for creatures? Yeah, you did. I, I rolled 24. And I will... I'm... Sorry, I thought I mentioned this. Sorry, my bad. No, no, no. You... At this point, you were you were expecting you you would expect to see because as it gets denser, you see more and more creatures. At this moment, there is, and I think you you notice it more because during the chaos of the, the things, there's no sounds of any animals. Boys, it's, it's no creatures. I feel like creatures. Trash would notice that too because that's what happens when there's a predator around. It just seems... We've ran into this before around everyone. Yeah. I think <clears throat> after a moment, there you all start to notice it. And that's when you come into sight of this wall. And yeah, I think that's. I think we ran into that where in the first building we ran into with the the armored and the throne thing. I feel like there were jungle cats circling. They wouldn't come closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trash is going to be on high alert. Uh, maybe, maybe go into <laughs> stealth mode just because that's, you know, I feel like that's what you would do. Oop. Um, hey, just because I want to make sure I'm preparing things correctly, was a uh, part of the role that we did at the beginning um, for exploring the jungle, did that take into account that Shino had to prepare the purify water? I just need to make sure if I have it prepared if it be. Or did uh, we not count? I did, I, did, I did not take that into account. Okay, cool. Then I won't change my spells. I just realized that. I was like, wait, we were doing that. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't... I was just following the rules. All good. You all have uh, dysentery. Just kidding. You, you died Fine, of dysentery. I've died, to it. I've died to it plenty of times. <laughs> uh, do you guys circle, circle around it? Either I'll circle around it, or I send my familiar or Rouge around it. I don't know how Trash would feel about being out in the open longer than she needs to be if, if I, you know, like, just because this is, feels like something's hunting us or her. If we can get eyes on the exterior, it would be smart just to see if there's, like, another entrance um, or, you know, I don't know, maybe the roof. To give us a sense of scale, it is about almost 300 feet across. It's a large, a large thing. Um, we yeah, could, could send Batty one way and then Rouge another. 
Yeah, would that I'm work? Game for that. Yeah, yeah. sure. <clears throat> I was just going to say, I'll send Batty out. Uh, Batty's a little blind in the daylight, but eh, probably good enough. If need be, I have Summon Beast. I could also do Swooping Death and send him out, if need be, too. Uh, are they circling like the outside to, to find like our yeah, entrances? Yeah, find yeah just going around. Maybe uh, over. Maybe do a move over the top to see if it's open on the top at all. It is open on the top. Uh, it is also you, they will notice an entrance on the uh, like on the wall to your left and the wall to your right. So you, there's three entrances in total. Do the, you need any kind of perception rolls or anything? Uh, no, I don't think right now there's any need for that because there's not really much else to notice other than uh, there are structures inside. So it's like a walled compound more than... Yeah. Okay. So like a, maybe a temple complex or a walled... Yeah. So, uh, three doors. Do we just want to go inside? Sure. I don't like... Well, I don't know if... Uh, well, I'm guessing what's hunting us is out here and not in there. I mean, I I don't know. It could be in there. We'll think that this is some kind of den. I don't think, I don't know, it's a walled compound of some sort. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a den of sorts. I mean, depends on what you mean by den. Might be a stronghold. But... I guess the question is, do you enter for the one you're at, or do you go for the left or right one? From what are... Which... Do, do Critters you... saw, like, is there anything interesting... There... On the inside of I like, is there a closer structure to any of the other gates, or is it like? Uh, no, it, they're all close to various different structures. Do they appear? Do some appear more regal, as one would say? Uh, more fancy. No, I mean they all look about the same. Did we see? Did our critters see any kind of like motion, live life inside? Negative. Uh, no motion I... at all. Shiny bits? I mean, probably a very variety of shiny bits. I feel like we're walking into Einzel Goon's house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Front door? Question? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're here. We might as well. I guess. <laughs> all right. Uh, Quietly. Yeah, yeah maybe. Do, want do, you to want, be quiet? do you want me to pass without trace us? Yeah. Do we want to go that quietly? Especially if something, if I think something's like hunting us. Uh, well, before you do that, I will say whoever's opening the door is gonna have to make a stealth check with disadvantage. Uh, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> Now that we know uh, that, sure, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I feel I like mean, uh, I, gonna... I would check it for traps and shit first, too. Yeah, I was going to be at the back of the group. Uh, go right, on so... Be in the middle so I can get... Just, the, just the straight the investigation? Mm-hmm. It's a 19 plus a 9. So... Mm-hmm. It doesn't There's no uh, traps, and it's definitely not locked. Okay, and so open open with a disadvantage. Are you casting pass before or no? Uh, yeah, I'll cast pass. So I'll use one of the charges on my earring for pass. All right. Uh, uh, seven plus so seventeen. Oh, so I'm opening it with stealth. It's a seven plus ten plus ten. If we're if we're counting pass into that, yeah, it's twenty-seven. You can. Yes. 
it's not as audible due to the this, this spell kind of suppressing sound and everything around it. But you can hear the doom, 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 as each as the door slowly gets pushed open. Uh, and you see as you guys enter inwards, uh, if you want me to stealth checks, you may. Uh, you see a cobblestone street in a ver- variety of buildings. You see what is basically a city. Does it look derelict? No. Or, no? We're affected by the cost of yeah. Our lowest is a sixteen. Yeah. So, do I need to roll a stealth again? Keep. My- no, mine is plus ten already. I rolled. I rolled two. Yeah. <laughs> well, and Quentin rolled a sixteen. Yeah, but plus ten, which is twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah. yeah. And I'm wearing heavy armor, so. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. No, I'm well, quiet. No, he's, he's somehow he's clank, clank. very quiet in his heavy armor. <laughs> I, I, I am an expert in moving in this. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, he learned how, how to walk in that stuff. <laughs> uh, the main things you see is a structure ahead looks like a kind of mixture between a town hall and a church. You see a, a large statue of some sort of figure. And you see a variety of different structures to your left and to your right. You see what looks like maybe it was a barracks. A I think house. I need to reload my map. It's very blurry. I think it's real 20. Yeah, sometimes it'll be blurry for a while. Yeah. Yeah, it, t- it, t- it takes me a moment sometimes to, for it to focus in. Yeah. Not exactly what I thought we would find. No, this just looks like a city of some sort. And you can see, like, things just... Like, you, you see, like, a broom that's just kind of just, like, on the ground. It, it, everything looks like it was just... Like, they just dropped it, whatever they're doing, and just left. That's not creepy at all. Oh, the thing that really drew my attention is a statue of a figure might be useful to see. Well, yeah, especially if there's an inscription or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was my thoughts. We can work on looking more around buildings later. Yeah. Start walking up. Yeah. You can see a small well right here as well as uh looks like some sort of sewer sewer system and i'm assuming none of this looks familiar like this isn't like a mirror image of the town we know or anything weird like that oh yeah no this is there's nothing like like that now. You can see what looks like things set up like and there's like a market. You see some food set up right here. You see various little uh, tankards like gold, gold and some iron, as well as some looks like books and paper over there. All set up like, like this. Any plant life. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, really. My whole idea is if I can find plant life. <laughs> I mean, there's some some plants right here. 
Oh, right. Looks like, so, looks like some out potted plant that's kind of just there. Test hey there, plant. Theory. What's going on? What happened <laughs> okay. here? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to that later. First off, is seeing if there's anything, any like inscription on the uh, statue. No, no inscription. Uh, appears to be, you see, uh. A feminine, a feminine figure in a in sort of rows with their hand, pa- hands up, palms to the sky, wearing uh, looks like a, some sort of floral crown. Uh, the face is very nondescript. Uh, the face is the only like the statue seems to be the only thing that seems to have any like wear tear on it, like it's been weathered. Hmm. Ash is just sort of wandering over one of the buildings and like peeking in the window, assuming this is a first story window. Yeah. She's just like looking in the window. You see a very modest uh, uh, bed. Do we still have the heebie jeebies? Like, is it still really weird and quiet in here? Oh, yeah. The only sound to be made are you guys right now. You can hear the sounds. Because there's no other sounds, you can you can very easily hear the sounds of your guys' shoes or, or whatever or hooves on the co- cobblestone road, almost echoing. I feel Medic has just got their beak down towards the book and is currently working on notes. That's the Bring next move for, for me is try and speak with plants. As you cast that, Shindy, you walk in and you see what well, looks like it was set up to be like um, like a seamstress's place. Uh-huh. It's just Everything, everything is there, like it's ready for a work day, or you can see some pr- things are, uh, you, can, you can see a, a, a very simple uh, shirt that is like partially sewn, a hole on it is like partially sewn, mm-hmm. and it's just stopped about halfway through. Can I see how long it's been here like that? Uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. Seventeen? It's hard to tell. There's no, like, mold or anything like that. It seems... Best guess, maybe... Hours? I'm just going to wander down the road looking in the windows, seeing what I see. Looking for one in particular that has a hearth. Uh, This one appears appears to have a hearth. You can kind of see it through the window. Alright, I'm going to, like, if the door is open... Uh, I'm gonna walk in and like check check the hearth, wherever know. that might. Uh, oh, is it here. the next one? Okay, yeah. so this one. Yep. Uh, check check it. Is it still warm? Uh, there's still a fire in there. There's a fire burning. Oh, yep. that's that's not normal. <laughs> Nobody was cooking anything in here. Anything like <laughs> I don't find the egg still sizzling. No, it just uh, seems like it was being used to, to keep people warm. Uh, 
shanty or, or she know that the the food there looks fresh, almost brand new. As she's walking through, I feel like she, you know, it has the sense that it is like a, you know, eerily quiet, like a ruin. But it, I, I'm as she's looking around. Does she see any evidence of cobwebs, dust, anything? This is something that only comes around. So she's getting the feeling that, yeah. Does she see any of that? No, there's no. I mean, there are some some spider webs, but there's no like cobwebs or dust. And I figure as like Shanty comes around the corner. I feel like the city just appeared and it was somewhere else. Maybe, but where are the people? I don't know. But this uh, is, and I imagine she's got like, is it a leak in front of her? <laughs> <laughs> She'll like take a bite of it and be like, this is very fresh and yeah. hasn't been sitting for long. Uh, I'll walk over to, I presume these are sewer grates, right? Yep. I pop it open and I throw some food down there. Uh, I guess go ahead and make me a strength check and then we'll bounce back to Rodan. Sheena walk up to like the one she will walk up like munching on a leak as you do that. <laughs> Just right behind you. I'll quickly double checking if I have advantage on athletics checks always. I don't think so. You go to pole and you realize it's bolted. I just throw some food food through the opening. Right. And I want to see if there's like any rats or something that come up to eat. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check and we'll get to that after Rodin. Okay. So Rodin, you're casting Speak of Plants. Speak of Plants. Alright. What do you say? First, let's see if it even exists. Uh, hello? Uh, do you know what happened to the people of this place? Takes a moment and then you hear. Hello? Gone. Vanished. Do you know what this place is? It's like a name or something like something akin to that. Mm. People call a lot of things. They Uh, salvation, the best city ever, uh, Uvedern, uh, what was that last one, sorry? Uvedern. Grabs fucking pen. <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you call that? Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you now, this one's a really odd one odd question to ask, but do the people usually vanish? The first time it's happened. <laughs> That's boring. Okay. Uh, no, do, just you know, do, do you know? What, oh, uh, do you know what the statue, who the statue is of? The founder. <laughs> okay, good knowledge. Uh, and. Mm. <laughs> Do you know if there's any other plan in the area? 
Uh, there's me. Uh, I, I don't know besides that. I don't really see us here. I feel like we should take this plant with us because it's just going to starve. We could have a potted plant. <laughs> 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 um, do you... <clears throat> what? Was there anything odd that happened before they vanished? Mm. Like any strange lights, uh, a commotion? Oh, screaming. Or... The whole sky changed colors. Changed colors? Mm hmm. What color is the sky right now? The color of the sky right now is like um, your typical blue. Okay. What well, what color did it change to? Uh, it changed to like a purple. Mm. I think that's the color that people just said. Uh huh. Do you want me to? Bring you along with us. I'm sure they'll be back. They've only been gone a couple of hours. People don't Very usually... optimistic plant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. People don't usually <laughs> vanish, though. They don't? You said this is the first time it's happened. Well, I don't know how you, how you, what you guys do. Sometimes you, all, sometimes you just walk away and I never see you again. Fair. People in a different city it never sees you again. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Uh, I'll see if anyone else has more questions for you later. Uh, for now, I will be bringing you on a journey around the city. Thank you, the score of the city. <laughs> You've never left this window, so it'll be fun. <laughs> the new part of the city you've never seen before. Are you just taking part of the plant? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can plant him in the turtle shell and carry him around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the turtle shell is one, new. It's one of those pot, like long pots that like that, like are like hanged on a windowsill. But I'm sure like. He's big. Usually... He's a big guy. He can tuck it under his arm. Yeah, He's strapped to your like back, man. <laughs> oh, Dad. <laughs> That'd be like backpack plant, friend. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying you can't carry I'm just saying if you want to do it, you can. Yeah, just I'm, definitely, I'm definitely going to bring him. Alright. Hey, just detach it. <laughs> We're going on a journey. And I won't be able to talk to you. Like, he hear you all the time. So Okay. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, and mess. Uh so stop finding where everyone else went. Shanty and she know you you guys have been kinda of watching down there. There's other than like the just the general flow of water, there's been no motion, no sound. You don't hear any rats squeaking down there. It seems like every I won't say living thing disappeared, but plants are obviously still stuff here, but everything with a heartbeat is gone. It's very weird. I mean, I guess Trash would wander back over to you guys at some point and be like, "Yeah, there's a, there's still a fire lit in the, uh, I don't know where you guys are at." Oh, do you <laughs> recognize this statue? 
at all? Like, can we make a check to see if we know anything? Uh, there's no like visible we... like facial facial features to, to recognize and to is warn there them. An inscription or anything? No, mm. no, that wasn't. Is uh, the flower crown made of stone or is it fresh flowers? Uh, is stone as well. Okay. Does it look? Can we tell what race it is? As in, like human, bugbear. Does it have pointy ears? Yeah. Uh, it's hard to tell because where the flower crown kind of covers right, right where the tops of the ears would be, and it's not like intricately carved to that point. It's like whoever covered it, like I don't need to carve the, that part of the the top of the earlobe if the flower crown covers it. Yeah, as I come across, as we, as the group uh, reconvenes, I'll tell everyone what I've learned from the plant. That is not. I meant, with yeah. Me. <laughs> I meant I mentioned the hearth being still lit, like corroborating the they've only been gone for a short time. So if you want to ask the plant anything. Uh that I have not already asked. Can it hear speech? Can it tell us what language they were speaking? Probably not. I I mean I don't I it mean, wouldn't really have it much of a plant, it might not know even yeah, what like they were saying. It yeah. wouldn't yeah. have much of a concept of language unless someone specifically Although yeah, it was able to say it knew what the town was called, but yeah, yeah but that's what the people like... called the sky purple. So maybe it can tell. I, know I guess it can understand to some degree. Uh, yeah, it's, um, but it probably wouldn't be able to be specific with language, like what language it would it. No, I you get the so it understands more of the concept of what is being said rather than what the yeah. words are. So like... Maybe maybe ask your friend what kind of people were here? Were they a furry? Were they creatures? Any descriptive features or anything we could figure out about the individuals that were here? Was it a variety? Ten minutes of it, so yeah. Uh, do you, uh, looking at the plant, hmm. do you know what the uh, inhabitants of the people looked like? Like, did they have pointy ears or. Yeah, to, I mean, can you give us a, like a, dis a lot general of, description? A lot of different people, uh, but. The ones I saw most common are probably, hmm, definitely shorter than all of you. A lot of them had big beard, big, big, like hair on their face, like, but not quite as hairy as you. Uh, Short but oh. beards. Sounds oh. like dwarves. Uh, what uh, about the founder? Oh, they're the founder. I never seen the founder. I wasn't around then. How long ago was it founded? Yeah, how how long have you been here? I've been here and it doesn't say like years, it'll say like so many seasons. Yeah. Uh but you you can quickly I guess it's it's been here for maybe four or five years. Uh, do you to. do you happen to know how old the city itself is? Older than that. <laughs> it doesn't know. Say so you don't. <laughs> Just say <laughs> you don't know if you don't know. <laughs> but I do know it's older than <laughs> it's older than that. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> plant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, plant. I've forgotten how annoying plant can be. <laughs> oh, no, it has been so long. <laughs> it has been so long since I've talked to an actual plant. <laughs> oh, be nice. 
Uh, any more questions? Has it been watered? When was the last time it's been watered? That's not useful at the moment. Like it'll, it'll be fun. We don't need to know that. Hey man, I'm just thinking about the plan. Hey, I'm thinking about the plan. That will be my hand. <laughs> Drug. What will happen? Smoke you. She never turns. <laughs> uh, 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 I do. I speak Dwarvish? No, I don't think. I do. Pretty sure. Can you? No, I don't. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. What language do I speak? I don't remember. It's been so long. <laughs> it's been no, long. So I speak language. That's the same. Wait, I have so many it. different languages. Uh, um. <laughs> Say that to a giant, and I'm pretty sure you'll get your fucking teeth kicked in. <laughs> Just say it. Uh, more than teeth. <laughs> my everything. Uh, I mean, I, get, can you ask it for directions? Question mark. It only knows what it could have. What it could have. Yeah, seen it's been from... sitting on like a wherever it's been sitting for. Yeah, like it it doesn't know its way around the city. What would happen if we watered it with one of those random magic potions? Oh for <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, what if we Field what Medic if... digs in their bag and pulls out the potion. We could try. No. Maybe we could turn it into something that no, could we are not doing tests on <laughs> the, um... nature itself. As... I guess you're a it does grow a bit. As royalty, would I know a bit about city layout to figure out where oh. it would be located? G card. Um, like storage facilities and like throne room, stations, throne room, treasuries, you know that kind of stuff. Go ahead and make me um. Make a highfalutin check. Just, just make me a uh, intelligence check. So good at those. So good. Yes, you are. Uh, I never listened to those lessons. You know, they were boring. <laughs> well, the, pro the problem here is this city is not laid out in a typical manner. It's, it's just it, usually the main focus is not. Like a combined church combined with a town hall, and usually those are separate. Uh -huh. And just the general, <clears throat> on top of that, just the way that our general buildings are, are are put together, it just feels. It feels like. I'll give you with, with a five. It just feels like there's something that's missing with this with the construction. Uh -huh. I will relate this to the rest of the group. Someone was high when they made the city. Uh... I mean, I'll give you this. You can probably see uh, the, the these two buildings over here in this corner. This one and uh, these kind of like side buildings right here. All share the same style architecture. They appear to be some sort of like in tavern. They're not necessarily as connected, but they're they're too similar to not be connected. I feel like we just need to split up and start going building by yeah. building. All right. Revisit back at the market. Mm -hmm. Sounds yep. good. I guess Trash will just go back to that row that she started going down. I think I might have accidentally closed my roll 20 with Oh, no, there it is. Good. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, she'll, she'll just go back to where she was looking and just go to my door. Uh, uh, we're right around 1. Do we want to do lunch before we start exploring? Sounds sure. Good. Yeah, that sounds like uh, a good idea. If you just want to kind of place your... If you want to go ahead and place your character in the general area you want to look at, and we'll I'll go by area by area then. 
when we get back. Okay. Oh, no. uh, I was trying to pick my place. Like, oh, I'll, I'll be real quick. Oh, who just zoomed down here? Who the fuck was that? That was me. I'm gonna explore this area. <laughs> I'm gonna. Woman. What? What? Oh. What's your problem? <laughs> I'll find a place that nobody's. Yeah, I'll find a place that nobody's going. So, I'll just put my token in the market for now. Yeah, I guess just make sure that we, like, just go door by door and we don't miss anything, because this place looks pretty fucking big. Try and have at least one person in a general area. So I think me and Shanti are going south. Is that where you went? I don't see where your token went. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, BRB. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I was going to say, uh, don't forget we have that star metal property that lets us message if we find something. Although oh. shouting might be loud enough in this place. I don't know how big it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. BRB.
What direction? So, Shanty is bottom left. Welcome back. Thank you. Chino is sort of middle left. Uh, I'll go further left, I think. Yeah, I think trash is middle, kind of bottom. Bottom, middle, middle, bottom. Uh, build medic is middle right. Well, yeah, it looks like she's going top right. Top right. So I've essentially got a lot of the bottom area cleared. So yeah, you, you got guess... kind of the top left center kind of area. Yeah, like I'll just take whatever isn't being taken. So like I guess this relative area probably be more top left than anything. Fair enough. Like, just making sure we don't miss anything of importance. No, that's fair. So, technically, uh, Trash has pretty much all of those houses and possibly the door to the right. Shanty has, I guess, the whole... Um, Left corner. Left street. Shino could probably have the middle. Or oh, this building does seem like it might be a bit big. So she might just have that building. Uh, Maria has... Uh, what? I'll come back. This one area here is really gigantic. Like an entire quadrant in of itself. I'm assuming, I'm assuming Maria has that? Or no? In the top right at the moment, she might get I, that I, one. I got a small room, I think. I don't know. Like, yeah, I guess, like, I ought to be I mean, there's, everything here. There's also another thing down here, like, at all that just goes outside. That's outside, yeah, yeah that's one of the gates. Yeah. I mean, she decided to do the small one first, but she'll probably also go down to here afterwards. Unless that also leads, I don't know. Yeah, I've store. got like the top left region. <laughs> I guess. Wait, there's more top left? Oh, yeah. The top left. I'm yeah. top right. Top left, not. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. there's <laughs> a gigantic block of building on yeah, top right. Yeah, I saw that, but I'm not going to do that. She's. Uh, Oh, you're not gonna do that. That seems like the center fold of the of the whole place is the that's that town hall church. The the entrance is at the bottom. I I feel like that this door. I, I I'm a little bit worried to open up that door since it is that big. <laughs> that's so fine. I'll probably just leave it till I've got back up or something instead of that's doing it on my own. Move, it's a small wrong door. entering Looks a big like... building by itself. Nothing, nothing I mean, I've got a door to the building myself on this side. Why do I have boss know, music? <laughs> got... You're not that scared of Mar as Maria is. <laughs> I have one door that look. I have this building, this building here, this smaller building, whatever's here, a little bit. And another building up top. Yeah, right over here. And then 
a little area which just the door in the corner. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Just or hidden all the way back here. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably to too distracted, but um, I'm I'm doing mobile game dailies at the moment. Sorry, that in two hours. So I thought I'd try and get those done, just real quick. But if it comes to my turn, I'll. Hopefully, won't be too distracted by it. I'm good. Just stop breaking eyes and what? Yeah, pretty much got that area. All right. I feel like Shino's gonna be exploring that door first, which might end up leading to this door and this door. And the many doors connected to the building. <laughs> we'll see. Very big place. These doors and stuff, is that a new feature? Oh, well, how new do you think the feature is? I don't know. Like, I mean, it's like, it's been a couple off... months since they put it in, I think. Yeah, and I know we had it in the previous dungeons, but I don't remember this always being in all country. Yeah, no, it's no, I think it's fairly re that's definitely this year. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit, a bit recent. I'm just gonna say, I felt so much panic at the start of this game because I was like. Oh yeah, I failed to steal a knife last time. That's that's mm -hmm. gonna get pulled up right at the start, oh, isn't it? You can always try uh... again. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think that she wants to though. She already feels bad failing. That's the thing. She didn't want to do it in the first place because friends. Why would she want to steal from friends? <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe next time she might just you know. Ask. <laughs> I mean, if you want to take stuff, this is the moment to to have your character take stuff. No, no, no. She's gonna help us. She's gonna help us. She's more of a nighttime steely guy, a girl person anyway. Because you know, yeah. I I don't think that she'd like to steal under people's noses while they're awake. That just feels wrong. <laughs> I guess would it be chaotic good that she would be? I'm pretty sure that I'm trying to do. Welcome back, by the way. I don't know. Chaotic. Neutral. Welcome back. Ew. By the way, update on the kittens. They're not girls at all, they're all boys. <laughs> First, we thought they were all boys when they were born. So, I mean, we thought that they were all girls when they were born, but nope, they're boys. And I might be a Adopting one while another one has already been adopted. Aw. What are you doing? When you trying to come up here? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Yeah, we got uh, uh, the one that left was called Mittens, which was like a fully gray one with like white patches on its thing, so we called it Mittens. Um, another one that's probably still sleeping in my dad's basket of clothes, uh, we call that one Buttons because it's got a little gray button on its stomach. And the other one I called Jack because it looks like that it's got a headband with Jack's uh, goggles, while also a uh, dark goatee that almost looks green in some lighting. <laughs> so yeah, at the moment Jack is in here and getting licks from my mother. So yeet. Welcome back. Welcome back. I believe that's everyone back, correct? Oh, Tuttle? Yeah, I'm here. I believe, okay. But say, I believe we might be missing Tuttle, but no. Alright, that's everyone. Alrighty, let's see where he is. Uh, who to start with? Uh, let's start with hmm. let's start at the top left of the map and I'm going to kind of circle around that way so we'll start with Rodin We'll go, I'm going to go clockwise around the map. Uh, so what's the first section you want to look at? Uh, let's go for this building. All right. Just going to say me open it. You see it. Uh, kind of a, a table set up. You see candles, candles that are lit. Next room. Trying to look for anything of interest, really. Oh, looks like a <clears throat> bedroom. Small, but. Quaint. Uh, another door over here. Looks like another bedroom. You can see an archway kind of over this way. Right over to the archway. Oh, hallway. Into. My god, there's so many doors. <laughs> There's so many doors. <laughs> so many options. <laughs> this is door hell. Uh, oh, we'll go this way first. Okay. That leads oh, outside. Well, leads outside. Uh, there appears to be a washroom. All right. Back down here. So this is, is our dining a... room. Is that a skull? It's <laughs> oh. a boar head. Boar head. Okay. 
Uh, it's like a kitchen. You can see the oven is still smoking. Looks like something was cooking in there. Uh, looks like a pantry. So it just looks like mainly a house. <laughs> just really. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, yeah. All right. Depending on what you investigate next, we might bounce off of you, depending on how big it is. Uh, well, if I was you, uh... Yeah, it will definitely be bouncing off me. Probably, I'm going to go down here. Alrighty. Uh, so we're gonna bounce to Maria. You see one door yep. right there. One door. Little door. Uh, looks like a resting place. And as you kind of look around, you can, can see. Uh, vestments and some of those seems to be like where the people who tend to the, to the church would, would rest. There's two bunks. Um, I'll look underneath the bed slash in the drawers to see anything, to find anything. Uh, there's no Crimson drawers. Um, investigation. Oh, I thought that would have been like a no, it seems very minimalist. bedside table or something. Minimalist. Well, what about under the bed? Uh, under the you? bed? Nah, there actually is nothing under the bed in this area. Yeah. It is pretty barren. Alright. Then she'll go to the other room that she was thinking about. Oh, you this one. <laughs> Clicky. And she walks in. Oh, she... Yeah, you see kind of a hallway. She a bit on high alert, looking around. Looking, looking. Uh, small question. Are those stairs? Uh, no. It's a shelf. Yep. Uh, oh. field medic. Where was field medic going? Uh, my field, the field medic is staring at that statue. Okay. I just want to make sure. Right, Can so... I beep at the shelves? Yeah, they're kind of empty at the moment. Oh. There's nothing really on them. Is that supposed to be a window? Yeah, I see bars. Green Looks like a uh, cell. Cell window. Ooh. Okay. Uh, she'll just keep going down. Because I'm guessing that would lead back out to uh, Grids, right? Yeah, you can look. If you open the door, you, you can tell it leads outside. Big and boo. Hello. Hello. Hello, medic. I made a loop. Hey, and she'll keep going. <laughs> Keeps going down. She'll open the door. Is that, that just leads, a cell? Uh, no, it leads into like a, looks like a, some sort of entry room. You can see a door ahead, a door to your left, a door to your right. Mm, yeah. Yeah, she'll go in then. And she'll open this door first. All right. Tink. Yeah, it seems like a. You, you can see. Not. Not a toilet, it seems like a, um... Looks like a bucket, and you can see like a mop kind of like sitting, resting inside of it. Uh, and there's another door that continues further. Yeah. Uh, and this looks like, Wait. you can see a door to your left, and you can see a bunch of cell doors that look... Oh, so there's a... only one to the left that's different. Oh. Yeah, and that leads Which... to another cell. But this one seems to be Looks more like that it's just another secluded. <laughs> Anything in this room then? Like keys? Mm, no keys in this one, no. Okay. Uh, 
clicky. Oh no, that's locked now. Whoops. Oh well. Still go down. Uh, uh, down. And she'll go to this door. Click. Cool. Uh, this one looks like it looks like a, uh, you see a, a large chair of it looks like something like a, like a, uh, someone of a higher standing would sit in. You get the sense this seems to be, I don't know, like the, the, whoever is the, would be the head of the guard would probably be, this would probably be a room that they'd sit in and give orders. So, would this room look like that? It should be investigated. I can tell you, there's there's not really much in here. It seems very. Oh, okay, cool. What you can see is what you can see in that in that room. She is keeping an eye out for shiny. Just yeah. yeah. Nope. Uh, and this seems to be you can see a bed and some of that. Yeah, this is where he would so this... he would be. Okay, so this. This definitely an investigation area, <laughs> right? Surely. Yeah, if you want to make an investigation, you can. Investigation. Doesn't need to be too big. Yeah, looking around, it seems... Uh, you, you see, I don't like spare clothes. Uh, nothing seems to be left behind. Hmm. There's no like, uh... weapons or armor. Um, is she notices this door, right? If she mm -hmm. the door, it's a yeah, kind of a more of a then. like a, a curtain. Bathroom. Uh, as curtain. you open the ah. the draw back the curtain, you see a desk, a chair, and then a large painting of. That figure that, it was, that the statue is of. Okay. Except for the face, is just the part of the face where the painting is, has just been like ripped. How hard would it be to take it down? Uh, it is about twice as tall as you. Uh, so it's pretty deep. It takes up like pretty much the whole wall. Must think highly of himself. This looks like a painting of the founder of that, but there's no face. It's been torn. Alright. Uh, um, and that's point we'll bounce on yeah. to the next person real quick. No worries. Uh, trash. We're gonna go to you, and then we're gonna go yeah. to Shanty, like, and then we're gonna go to Yes. Trash is roughly... By where we came in, I think we came yeah. in from this gate. Was this came the gate we down, came in? Down here, yeah. yep. So she came back to here, I guess. I didn't see. There's a door here. She's going to peek in there. See a, kind of a, a hallway and a door to your right. You can hear. Because uh, at this point, Maria would be further north, so you can hear commotion to the, to the north. Okay. Your door is kind of opening. Like, so I would assume that she's at the other end of the hallway, maybe? Yeah, you can probably hear her, like, more north. All right, then if I if, if she's already in there, I'm going to leave that door open just to show that it's been checked, I guess, and then move mm -hmm. over here and peek in there. This looks like some sort of uh, mil more of a military bunk. Yeah, that's what I figured it was going to be, like, a little mil ba gate barracks or something. Yeah. You can see a weapon rack right here that's currently empty. Okay. Uh, so, moving from there. I've already opened this one. I think it was just, like, a room. Yeah, it has an outer door. To, and I'll give you this, because people did open the outer door. This probably connects all the way through. She'll go in and open it just to make sure, and there's yeah. there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like of, of, of this house and shop, basically. Okay. Is there like drawers with clothing, or like like is is oh, yeah. like like so there's stuff there's there's 
There's other signs of life. It's not like all the clothes are gone, like somebody packed up and rat left. Correct. Everything it's is like, like still in place. It's like whatever they had on them is gone, but whatever they had left in their abode stayed. There's no kind of like little suspicious piles of dust around that like could be disintegrated people, are there? No. There's, there's <laughs> a, a suspicious lack of dust. Mm. And then this one looks like some kind of wash. Yeah. Like laundromat or something. That's, I think yeah, it's a big, see, big can, tub or a bathtub or something. Yeah, you can kind of see some some clothes on a drying rack right here. You can kind of see uh, if you as you peer peer in, you can still see like someone was in the middle of washing clothes, and they're just in the water now, floating. It, it makes me wonder: Did the city get transported, and they're all just standing around in a field? Like, where the fuck is our house? <laughs> um. Uh, trash is going to pull out like something out of. I just write "trash" with here on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have anything I could do that with, but if I found like a piece of charcoal, I'd do that. You know, I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I cross the street, open this door. Looks like more housing. Yeah, this looks like, uh, judging from its position and the kind of stuff that's inside it, it looks like it might be tied to the one across the street. So yeah, just gonna work the way, work my way down. Opening doors, like it doesn't look like any of these are. This looks like uh, you can see a ladder that goes up to a uh, kind of a loft, and glance up there it seems as like a resting spot, and you can see like it looks like a printing press kind of here. Interesting. The, uh, the like house. Cool. Yeah, the house across the way was the one that I already checked. It looked like a hearth in it. Mm hmm. Uh... And then I guess I'm running into Shanty. I don't know uh, which way Shanty's going, but I'll open these last two, I guess. Yeah, I think when you open these last two, they'll move to Shanty. Yeah, it looks like this might be uh, another, looks like another abode. And this one down here looks like... Um, you can kind of see, like, hammocks here. You, but you can smell this, the, the scent of... At this point, like burning meat. And this looks like, um, just like someone's house, but they're apparently cooking, cooking something and it is now burning. I'll take it off the stove, just or whatever, fish it out so that it doesn't catch anything on fire while we're here. <laughs> yeah, you do. And it is effectively charcoal at this point. Oh, well, good. Then I'll use that to write trash with here on the wall. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, uh, at this point, Shanty will go to you. You, you can My see trash God. down the way going, going through doors down here. Is this the same building or not? Uh, it's hard to tell. But uh, really Trash will handle it. I'll be like... Then can I? It's connected some like to like to the wall like where people would walk along and that seems like a door. Like if you were on the wall you you can get in here, it looks like. Seems like some sort of tower? Yeah. It looks like um Is there a window it. on Maybe. this side near this metal thingy? No, but there's a window on the other side. You kinda of glance down the alleyway. Over here. Oh, I will try and break in through the window if I can. Yeah, go ahead. You can. It's not locked, but it is. Um, it's it's a very narrow window, so you can maybe reach your head and look around. You can't really fit your whole body in it, unfortunately. Look, Rouge. Check if there's anything interesting in there. I'll go to the next building. <laughs> yeah. Rouge flies up there, and there's no weapons, no. Nothing shiny. It just seems like an access to a guard guard route, basically. Okay. And I'll enter. I guess this house. Uh, this looks like a bar. You can kind of see 
uh, it's, it's, it's very small, very very humble, but you can see like a spot for, for patrons to sit and eat, drink, and you can see a uh, storage room right here. That's open. I will check if they have any good wines and beers. There's a barrel of beer, some sort of ale. Oh, uh, maybe three quarters full. I'll put it outside for uh, when we go back. All right. Yeah, we'll drag it outside. And there's one more door to the bottom. Uh, this just seems to be like a kind of a general storage. It's nothing really in here at the moment, but it looks like it would be used for like uh, various. Uh, plants and some of that to be held here, and there's not currently any right now. But you can see the restock. Can I check behind the bar to see if there's any cash? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Rich person behind. looting. You can glance behind the bar. Um, There is some. There are coins there. Can I look at the coins to see if they, if I know the origin of them? Yeah, you glance at them, and for one, they're a little roughed up, like they've been through some wear and tear of like being handed, passed around a lot. So they're fairly well used. Uh, they're the metal they're made out of is more. It's kind of iron. Just like it looks like an iron like metal. It's nothing not like a not like gold or copper or silver. Mm -hmm. Uh and on one side you see uh looks like a sort of rune crafted into it. And on the other side you see uh tiny because it's it's a coin, but you can see like the the etching of the same figure you're, you see the statue of in the middle, in the, in the middle of the, the city. What kind of coins are these? Gold, silver, copper? Iron. Other metals? Iron. Yeah, you said they were iron. I'll, uh, I'll take one with me. Uh, Alrighty. Uh, unless uh, we're going to move over, I guess I'm going to go to the next house. Uh, I think one more, because you spend a lot more time in the bar. Uh, this looks like, uh, due to the style and, and like the, you see an empty bag, barrel that's being used again, this is probably where whoever ran the, the, runs the bar would rest and live. Uh, now we're going to move to Shino. Yeah, she'll go check out the the door in front of her. All right. As you open up, you see a uh, kind of a warehouse of crates and barrels. You see some uh, looks like an open cellar door that leads down. Uh, hey, buddy. And she's gonna um, summon Sir Gregory. Uh huh. You stay up here and look for anything of value. Um, I'm gonna, or I guess, yeah, we'll do like a little search up here, and then we'll go downstairs together. I'm gonna bring Gregory with her. So we're gonna see if there's anything in this room. You can't go through the barrels and the and. In the crates, it seems like this is more uh, general food stores for the city as a whole. Uh, any like non-perishables, basically. Like you can see some uh, flour, or some wheat. I mean, not necessarily non-perishable, but stuff that would be crops, basically, kind of way that had not been used yet. The barrels contain mostly uh, water. Uh, there's a few of them that maybe contain ferment fermenting uh, liquids, like 
ales and stuff that, that are not quite ready. Okay. Uh, there's a door across the way, and then you said a cell. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open the door real quick before we go down. But she's definitely going down in the cellar, but stay up top. All right. Uh, yeah, you open the door. <clears throat> you, can, you can see the, uh, the road again. Uh, you see the, ex I mean, the other gate outside the wall. Okay. Uh, she'll go down into the cellar. In the cellar, you can see uh, uh, honestly, not a lot because I don't think you have dark vision. No, she doesn't. But uh, do you have any way to make light? Yeah, I should. I believe I have my pack checker sheet. Where are you? you are. Sorry, my roll 20 is moving very, very slow. All good. Um, let's see. Inventory. Oh, I'm looking at spells. Yeah, she has a torch. She'll go ahead and light one. I'm going to look around downstairs. You can see shelves of various root vegetables and such like that. This seems to be a root cellar. Any uh, sort of hidden doors or anything that you can see down there? Uh, Mako. Without, without making a roll, there is there's none. It seems to be pretty solid. Uh, Are we not making rolls? Uh. I'm not going to make a roll for this one because it it's pretty obvious the way it, it's set up. There wouldn't be any access for walls. All right. Because uh, it's, it's kind of like, it's not wort stone. It is just kind of like dirt walls. So you could dig out a wall, but uh, you're not sure how far that would go. All right. Uh, uh I will say one of the things you do know, go ahead and make me a nature check. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. You see one of the, the root vegetables. Uh, you, you would, at first glance, it looks like nothing more different than an, like a turnip. Mm -hmm. But it's 